Mr. Speaker. This past week has been very difficult for residents of Fort McMurray and the entire province as we battled with the single biggest fire in our history. Without a doubt, we are going through a stressful and trying time. I am humbled and touched by the resilient spirit of my fellow Albertans who have stepped in to support with whatever they can. From complete strangers bringing flowers to brighten up Mother's Day for moms staying in re reception centres, to school teachers driving students to safety through the heart of the blaze, from hundreds of firefighters battling the blaze around the clock, through peace officers directing traffic and thick smoke, and staff from the SPCA working to remove all the animals abandoned during the citywide exodus. Everyone is working as quickly as possible with all they can give to get resources and services where they are needed. In my own constituency of Wetaskiwin Camrose, people have donated generously to relief efforts and held the people of Fort McMurray in their thoughts. This is a disaster of extreme magnitude, and I am proud that our government is doing the right thing, showing clear leadership and ensuring we meet the needs that people have. People's safety comes first, and that's what we have prioritized. When tens of thousands being forced from their homes as firefighters battle the wildfire, two beautiful babies were born in an evacuation camp. At just a week to old today, Mr. Speaker, they are at least two rays of sunshine amid the smoky devastation. Fort McMurray, please know that we have your back and we will get through this difficult time together. Like the Phoenix, we will rise from the ashes. Thank you to all the ordinary Albertans for performing extraordinary acts of compassion. Thank you.